Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mac Josie. Today I want to do a uh, gun guns review on this pistol. Let's take a close look at this one. This is the uh, Umrex version of the Walter P38 pistol. It's a CO2 full metal blowback in 4.5 mm uh, steel BB shooter, and it's uh, new for uh, last year. If I remember right, <laughs> so yeah, for 2013. But uh, it's very close to the end of the year that when they release this thing, it comes with a very nice uh, black, shiny black body. The paint is kind of like uh, pretty, pretty glossy kind of paint. Uh, and this is the magazine stick mag. So basically there's a spring, you pull it down all the way, it locks in position, and then you have to put your finger over the hole at the front, and then you put BBs in here to uh, let it roll down and uh, it will hold the BBs in place. And then release the spring, tuck it in, and there you go. The uh, pistol here is kind of different from the Crossman uh, C41 uh, pistol because that one uh, it's not a blowback this one is the blowback and you have to expect a bit less powerful uh, with this one because it's a blowback pistol more gas is used for the blowback and as you can see the slide doesn't move all the way back it's just a little tiny see a tiny uh, distance that it blows back so don't expect a very strong blowback with this gun and uh, the sight, the rear sight and front sight are non-adjustable. The hammer is working, functional, you see. Okay, you can cock it like this. And also there's a safety. There's a safety right here, which you can go like this and like that. Okay, so, so the safety is uh, functional. Slight release right here. This is slight release. When the mag is empty, it, uh, it will... It will lock back and you press this to release the slide and uh, basically you can also disassemble the gun but i find that it's pretty uh <clears throat> like it's not very good idea to disassemble to, to uh, disassemble it all the way but you can just take it out like this and do your whatever you want and then shove it back so this is the easy way of field stripping, meaning that it's like it requires no knowledge of whatever. You just need to take this thing down, okay, and then you can pull things out. It's pretty straightforward, and I don't see why you need to do this, but actually it's just for fun, you know. You want to know how to take it out. And there's also a way to take out the slide, which I won't show here, because the problem is once you take the slide out, there's a uh, spring, very tiny spring inside right here on the right side. And that spring is very tricky to put, uh, put it back. And I don't want, like, if you don't know how to work with this gun, you may break the spring or bend it and then end up not being able to put it back. And so don't do that, okay? All you need to do <clears throat> for maintenance is just to uh, take out this barrel assembly okay and maybe just use the swap to clean the the crap out and uh, that's basically what you need to do you don't even need to do anything to it actually like it it's not a pellet gun there's no lead and no nothing there so nothing to clean except for if you want to like uh, mop the barrel a bit okay so to put CO2 inside a gun you have to release the mag to release the mag this is the uh, mag release you press this and the mag will slide out and then the uh, grip panel okay goes like that just take it out and there you go CO2 and the screws and then you put it back like so it snap back in position load the BBs okay rack the first first round and you can fire the blowback on this gun it's uh, pretty pretty good for the first 10 shot and then you'll see that if you rapid fire it will die down and you need to give it a bit of time to cool uh, like to warm up the co2 again and then you shoot it's going to be okay 
one steel tube i would say about four magazines of uh shot it's good and after that it's pretty weak and also the problem with this gun is that it's good if you're a slow shooter like if you target shoot like go like that aim bang aim bang like that it's okay if you want to go bang 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 bang, 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 bang like that Okay, this is not the kind of gun you want because the steel 2 I find that with this gun the steel 2 actually dies down very quickly if you rapid fire for about like say um, 10 to 15 shot you will see the shot getting very weak very weak and then uh, as the shot gets weaker the blowback also gets very weak and so that's a problem but it's also like you know in uh, the market of 4.5 mm uh, air pistol right now there's not much uh, p38 so and also a blowback so if you like this kind of replica it's a good idea to try this out but you know if you want to compare it with other better ones i would say the um, new gun this year the makarov ultra it's much better in terms of the design um the problem with this one is that the co2 dies out very quickly but with the Markov ultra okay they also use the blowback system like this okay it blows back a little bit more and also the co2 is stored inside the mag and so somehow okay the the kick will not die down and get weaker that fast whereas with the p38 the kick will like really get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker as you shoot so it's not really that good even the uh walther ppq this year is uh, actually better with, with the blowback uh consistency the uh, older design this one with the co2 in the grip the blowback really isn't very strong once you get to like the second mag at the end of the second mag so yeah basically you need to give it some time to cool down and stuff like that okay so enough said uh let's get to our range i will test the power and accuracy out so we'll be shooting some paper target cans target glass bottles and stuff on like that so let's go and have some fun today we'll be using umrex bbs and uh crossman co2 with, with pelgan oil let's go okay everyone now i'll be shooting the walter p38 uh in 4.5 mm so a fresh seal 2 it should be about uh let's say okay with blowback the short barrel uh this gun is shooting about 350 fps or so uh it won't be really high fps and you see i just cocked the gun so now we got a uh, scotch whiskey bottle uh in a bag soup can pop can and we'll test it all out so the first thing I'll do is shoot the uh, soup can first and I'm standing about 15 feet from target so let's uh, try and see what we can do okay with the uh, let's see soup can the, the first shot is kind of weak wow <laughs> okay I'm shooting the uh, scotch whiskey bottle I think it broke okay obviously the first shot is kind of weak and then the second shot it went very powerful so we need to test it again it's not legit <laughs> let's try again with this one weird that the first shot is not uh, powered enough so let's try that again wow strong strong uh pop snappy pop oh went through both sides of the soup can okay let, let me take that over and uh, let you see it went through this side and the other side see it went outside wow okay so it punched through both sides of the soup can and of course the uh, scotch whiskey bottle is dead okay let's shoot a bit more okay it's good with the wireless mic actually i can run okay i can hear the glass shattered Wow, pretty good. Actually, um, after like when you hold the gun kind of kind of tightly, you feel the uh, recoil is uh, is there, and uh, not bad actually. Let's take a look at that. Okay, the the wow, <laughs> the destruction power is quite good actually. It's uh, kind of better than some of this the uh, similar size blowback pistol. Wow, okay, let me take you over. 
Okay guys, so here we go. Uh, let's take a look at this guy first. Whoo, pretty much dead, okay. And some of you may say, oh, the Airsoft version, it's uh, better, it has the full size bag and whatever, uh, blowback is more realistic. Well, you can't really do a lot of damage with Airsoft, you know. Airsoft guns, they're good for war game, but they don't have the uh, power of the steel BB guns like these. See, it gets inside and out. Okay, so basically one shot went through both sides and then there are shots that actually go through one side and not both. Okay, so and of course the scotch whiskey bottle. Let us take a look at that. I think it should be pretty much broken. Right. Let me see. Hey guys, what happened? Oh no! It didn't break? What the heck? Okay, proven that Scotch whiskey is too strong. We need something else for that later on, or maybe we'll shoot a few more shots to see if it will break it. Wow, weird that it didn't break the Scotch whiskey bottle. Maybe uh, it's kind of too um, too tough. <laughs> So we got to uh, try it, try it on the uh, whiskey bottle to break that again, and we'll do a bit more shots here. So let us load up the uh, gun, and we'll come back. Scotch whiskey bottle, let's go, and we'll be shooting this guy again. As you can see, we're using the Walter P38, and we need to stand back to like 15 feet. Okay, let's go. Okay, I see it uh, kind of dead, so let's check that out. Still have a bit more shot, but let's take the mag out first, safety reason, and uh, the cock the gun. Okay. Should be dead with a few shots more. Wow, it's dead. Okay, finally we killed the Scotch whiskey guy, and uh, whoo. Okay, revenge time. <laughs> so yeah, finally we nuked this guy out, look at that. Damn, this guy is, uh, wow, smelling good. I mean, the scotch whiskey is really nice, but... <laughs> the bottle is tough. As we can all see, the scotch whiskey bottle is very quality made. And, uh, I mean, the gun is not powerful enough. But, anyway, um, yeah, you can see the glass. It's very thick. It's not like uh, the normal beer bottle kind of cheap glass. So, scotch whiskey is good stuff, as you can see. Okay, look at that. Uh, zoom in. Wow, you see how thick that... Oh, holy shit, look at that. You see, this is the cap, right? This is the cap. Okay. Oops. Okay, so... So you can see, this is the the the, uh, the neck of the bottle. And you see how thick the glass is right here? Well, no wonder it takes a bit of effort to nuke it out, but... Wow, you see? I'm amazed by these scotch whiskey. I need to buy another bottle. Look at that. Ooh, holy cow. Okay, now let's uh, do some target practice with paper. Okay, everyone, we have this uh, little dot here uh, set up as our target. It's about uh, one inch, and uh, yeah, it's pretty small from uh, 15 feet, and we'll try this pistol out, the Walter P38. So I'm going to aim uh, at the same spot and fire a few shots to see the grouping. So don't expect it to land on the dot all the time, but it may be landing in a nice group to let you see how the guns group. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm not in a rested position. I'm actually standing with two hands gripping the pistol. Okay, 10 shots, fired, decocked the gun, and uh, let's take a look. Okay guys, so let's take a look. This is the uh, groupings. I was aiming at the blue dot all the way, 
and you can see it does group pretty well for a BB gun shooter blowback and um, yeah I would say that actually okay let's take a look at that if you compare a soup can it's pretty nice okay so for target shooting this thing is pretty good it's not like the Walther PPK which is infamous for being inaccurate and spreading all over the place and actually it's quite good for the price and for the kick blowback feature full metal not not plastic crap and uh, yeah you see it's pretty nice eh also with the uh, the can destruction test so you got a bit of power there uh, at least for the first shot it went through the first uh, and the second side of the soup can uh, yeah and it actually went through the one side as you shoot so as the power downgrade uh, and uh, tapers out it actually still can punch through one side which is uh, kind of impressive and of course for pop cans no problem and what else well, well I would say that the kick is pretty nice but it's just that you cannot shoot it very fast because it like the CO2 will die out really quickly so okay here I am again <laughs> thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye bye